So you've taken up bounty hunting in Star Citizen. But when version 2 comes out, what's going to be your best option to transport instead of just killing your bounty? Let's find out. I'm not here to tell you how to bounty hunt. There's plenty of guides and stuff. As you can see here, Fleet Guide to Bounty Hunting 321, Make Money Bounty Hunting, Bounty Hunting Salvage Cargo. There's a lot of ways to do bounty hunting. I'm here to give you my kind of gameplay loop. So we've got the four main uh, bounty hunting ships that I actually have the prisoner transports here with. And we've got, of course, your Stalker, the Atlas Blue, the Hawk, and the upcoming Zeus Mark II Mark. Going through and comparing them all, they definitely have quite a few differences on them. Of course, you can see here the sizes of them vary drastically, as well as kind of the components and everything else they've got in it. So let's kind of go through some of these, see what we've got, see what's going to work best for you. So kind of your starting point, most likely... Especially getting originally started on it. The Avenger is one of your best ships that you can kind of get going with. Now, the Stalker variant, of course, does have the prisoner pods in it. Pledge price of the uh, Avenger Stalker is starting at 60 bucks. In game, it currently is showing 882,000 AUVC. That most likely will change at some point with the fluctuation of the economy. We don't know exactly where all the ships are going to go, but we do know they're going to be quite a different. Going over to the Hawk, which comes in at the pledge price of $100 or in-game AUC of $1.2 million, kind of moves up. Now, between the two, of course, you're going to get a little bit more of a combat focus with the Hawk over the Stalker, but you do lose any additional kind of cargo type space that you might get with it as well. It's realistically the hawk doesn't have much in the way of cargo other than the prisoner transport pod the next one 175 for the cutlass or two and a half million auec in game and it starts to kind of get you a little bit bigger here you've definitely got more cargo space you've got more pods and everything a lot bigger ship and you have a little bit more room to work with other people in it as well versus the previous two only being a one-person ship this one of course for some reason does say it has a minimum of two crew here i've ran it with one person no problem i mean you fly it around all the time you can have up to three people in it to help out then we have the upcoming zeus 190 is the pledge price we don't currently know what in-game price it's going to be but kind of following along the lines here we're getting a bigger ship it's expanding out a little bit again you can have up to three crew with you and it has a lot more room to be able to maneuver around. It's got, of course, all your internal stuff, the beds, which the Cutlass has. You have the prisoner transports. You've got more cargo room. And, of course, you also have, like, your kitchenettes and stuff, and they're actually separated out. So it, it, it's starting to kind of come in. Now, the other big things with these, of course, the Hawk and the Stalker, basically you've got your guns and your prisoner transport. The Cutlass and the Zeus, you start getting a few extra things, like EMPs or uh, quantum distortion things like that now we don't actually have a quantum snare on any of these so you're not going to be stopping someone from quantum jumping but if you get close enough to them with the quantum dampener on of course they're still not going to be going any speed wise again we don't really know much on the zeus yet because we don't have any of the details in game but you can see with the comparisons here the hawk of course is the 
fastest. Then it drops down to the Cuddy. Then it goes down to the Avenger Stalker. You definitely can see where each one's going to come into their own using the size as far as the speed and everything else that you can work with on it. But the main things, of course, with these are how are you going to use them to play with? Of course, the Stalker and the Hawk is just going to be you going out and getting bounties, which if it is just you, great. You can actually use all four ships and be perfectly fine. With the Hawk and the Avenger, that's all that you need. With the Cuddy and the Zeus, yeah, you could get away with only the one person, but you're going to be so much better off with multiple crew there with it as well. It's a little give and take on that. Now going through some of the weaponry here, of course, with the, the Cuddy and the Zeus, you do have turrets as on top of its regular weapon. And of course, when the 323 where all the weapons are gimbaled, with the exception of, of course, certain nose guns that can't be gimbaled, it's going to definitely throw in a little bit of variety here. It just depends on your style of play. Me, myself, I've got the Zeus. I'm Pride the Stalker. I love the Avenger Titan. It's a great little ship. I just was not a big fan of the Stalker. Hawk, not gonna lie, I did not like the Hawk at all. Fun to kind of play around in and everything. And of course, before the Prison Transport is actually put in where it has the little cage and stuff that you can pick up and suck up into the back of it. It's kind of fun throwing a friend in there and just making them not have anywhere to go. And just have to sit and chill while you actually fly around. Them not having a clue what's going on. They are quite fun. But here's my thoughts on these. Even if it's only you, you've got your Cutlass and you've got your Zeus. If say you, especially now with the hurts and all the bunkers and stuff going on. If you come up with any of these ships and it's still in the air the turrets are going to open up they're just going to waylay on you and there's a possibility that you could not make it out of there with your bounty fail the mission if it is a uh, npc mission we don't know exactly how version 2 is going to play with whenever you actually apprehend someone and can actually take them in the whole death of the spaceman not being in so i don't know how that's going to play out too well but my thought is you've got a cuddy you've got a zeus which has some cargo room why not throw in a vehicle or so maybe a uh, tumbrel ranger or another ground vehicle that has some guns on it that you can actually use to get around get to these until you can get the bounty and everything taken care of at these underground facilities if it's in space it's not going to really make much of a difference on it be honest the two single person ships might be better to do this in space with but again you lose the option to have a backup person with you unless of course they're there with you anyway my view complete personal opinion i of course got the zeus i think this is going to be an amazing ship I really, really think that overall it's going to be the best one of these. Might not have the most firepower, but I think it's going to be kind of the bread and butter of my bounty hunting type crew. Some of the interdictions, some of the um, espionage type stuff, I think will be great in the Zeus. When bounty hunting 2.0 does come in, or version 2 does come in, and we can actually take the prisoners in, take them into the uh, what interiors they did show when they showed them. I really, really think that's going to be an amazing change. I know they're wait, having to wait for a few things before that does come in. But once it does, getting a group of friends together, being in something like the Zeus, going out, getting some bounties, landing, having to go into bunkers, get bounties, drag the people out. It's going to make this very fun to be in this kind of a game. Let me know what you think. Leave your comments down below. Let me know if you agree or if you disagree fully on it. And don't forget to like and subscribe if you found this information informative. And I'll catch you in the next one.